Hello friends, Naya Swami Raymond here, broadcasting to you from the Kameno Hermitage on Kameno Island. Today I have kind of a treat for you. I have downloaded a PDF of just one copy of one of the magazines that Paramahansa Yogananda published during his lifetime. This one is, uh, at this point in his life, his magazine was called East West. Now, it had other names at other points in times, but this is like 32 pages long. And the treat I'd like to give you is just a, a, a ride through this magazine, which is very fascinating. First off, it, um, it's September 1932, I think. Anyway, uh, September. And um, it's entitled, The Amazing Law of Permanent, Permanent Divine Healing, is one of the lead articles, and The Light of India, in, by Swami Yogananda. Now, in the uh, facing page, he has a very long list of what he called it at that time, his work, his techniques, Yogoda. Uh, Yogoda, that which imparts yoga a system of harmonious and full development of body, mind, and soul, a practical scientific technique of concentration and meditation leading to conscious contact with inner divine forces. Isn't that amazing? A method of recharging your body, mind, and soul batteries from inner cosmic energy. And then he goes on and, you know, what Yogoda teaches then at the bottom, he has famous students of Yogoda. He was quite the marketeer. Amelia Galikurchi, Luther Burbank, um, the conductor of the Orchestra of Toronto, a brilliant pianist. These names you wouldn't know, I won't read them. Uh, Homer Samuels, distinguished pianist. Vladimir Rosing, eminent tenor and director of the American Opera. Clara Clemens, she was uh, a daughter of... Um, of Mark Twain. Uh, he goes on and on. So, um, so anyway, then he starts with a poem, My Basket of Goodwill. As my lo love's dawn burst forth from the folds of nocturnal indifference, I strolled out with the basket of my goodwill to gather the falling blossoms of sorrow and joy around the trees of other lives. Then he gives a, a page with the contents. I'm just going to read to you how much stuff is in this magazine. First, he gives meditations for September. And this is where I'm sure Swami Kriyananda got the idea for his uh, 30 or 31 days of meditations on various subjects. Um, I'll read one of them. September 1st. I will take all sorrows from the attic of memory and cast them into the fires of oblivion. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Then other contents is he has articles by different people on his uh, among his membership. <laughs> Most notably, um, Lori Pratt later became Tara Mata. She has an article just one of a series in different magazines called The Astrological World Cycles. Really most fascinating. She was a brilliant, uh, had a brilliant mind. She was the editor of the autobiography of, of a yogi and, and also Whispers from Eternity. We have articles by Brahmachari Nirod, who uh, Yogananda brought from India and later had some issues with, um, some unfortunate things. But he himself, Swami Yogananda, wrote the following articles. The Amazing Law of Permanent Divine Healing, that's the lead article. An article on the second coming of Christ, the origin of evil, if we were gods, and so on. The Light of India, an interpretation of the Bhagavad Gita. Uh, the Mystery of Mahatma Gandhi, and what else? Uh, creating your happiness. And finally, my basket of goodwill, a little bit of, of which I read to you. I mean, he was a prodigious 
writer. And I think, I, I haven't verified this, but in later versions of his, his lessons, which were called the Preceptum, which are voluminous, I think they must have taken, extracted, or just taken even verbatim from his many articles in his magazines in the 20s and 30s. So the lead article, Amazing Law of Permanent Divine Healing, um, he talks about, um, you know, the limits of medicine and the limits of doctors, and he gives a technique of permanent healing. Uh, I won't go into it. It's, it's pray until the answer is, has been received. And then he talks about, this is interesting, he talks about tuning in with Yogoda healers or with the Swami. Tuning in with divine healers at Yogoda headquarters at Mount Washington in Los Angeles by private correspondence will be found to be effective to tune into the spiritual Yogoda teachers. And I think by that, I, I'm guessing he means the, the lineage of the masters, okay? It could also be the individuals like Ramachari Narod and, and others uh, to uh, sit in deep silence and meditation any time of the day and mentally repeat the following affirmation. Father, thy light is flowing through Christ, through the saints of all religions, through the master minds of India. He often used that phrase in those early teachings, the master minds of India. Okay. Then on the second coming of Christ article, um, he, he, uh, the subtitle, Origin of Evil, If We Were Gods, Misuse of Power, The Middle Path, The Only Reality. Introduction, Intuitionally Perceived, Spiritual Interpretation of Words Spoken by Jesus Christ. Then in parentheses, he, he counsels the reader, to be studied every day conscientiously and meditated upon by true Christians, true devotees of God, and what he calls Yogodans. You and I are Yogodans. Isn't that interesting? It's just so charming. These truths are found in meditation, and those who want to perceive the second coming of Christ must meditate on them. Now, uh, another sort of intro statement that I think you'll find interesting. Universal Christ consciousness appeared in the vehicle of Jesus, and now through Yogoda self-realization, notice the self-realization is in there, Yogoda self-realization, and these intuitionally received, received interpretations of the scriptures, the Christ consciousness is coming a second time to manifest through the consciousness of every true Yogodan. All the, and then he quotes St. John, all those who received him to them gave he the power to become the sons of God. And then he goes in some of the highlights of this article, and this article called Second Coming of Christ was later, much later, um, condensed into uh, decades later, uh, the books by his organization on the second coming. Talks about the threefold meaning of Hindu and Christian Bibles, meaning physical, mental, spiritual. Uh, he talks at length about the origin of evil being subjective in the delusive mind of individuals, but also objective in the world around us in the form of diseases, pandemics, and other uh, natural cataclysms, and so forth. Um, so part of that is the subjective origin of evil. Then his next key article, I mean, it's just amazing. The Light of India, Karma, Spiritual Analysis, Habits, Interpretation of the Bhagavad Gita, the Song of the Spirit. Okay, and here he's, this is interesting, I, I picked this, but but um, this is, is probably his first article because it's the first stanza of the Bhagavad Gita. Isn't that amazing? Within itself, the blind mind consulted introspection, the impartial judge of all states of consciousness, asking, My children, 
the crooked mental tendencies, and the pure discriminative faculties, eager for psychological battle. What did they this day? And then he, he adds, the blind, boisterous mind wanted the introspective faculty to reveal the battles between the sense-bent mental tendencies and the pure wisdom-loving, discipline-loving, self-control-evolving wisdom faculties. I mean, he, I mean this is just, uh, just too much. Then we have Laurie Pratt's first in a series of articles on the yugas. As I said, Laurie Pratt, later known as Tara Mata, later known as the nemesis of Swami Kriyananda, the one who single-handedly got Swami Kriyananda thrown out of Self-Realization Fellowship, was a skilled astrologer and Master Yogananda um, was not in favor of her commitment to astrology among other things. She was a very fierce-tempered but high, high soul in her own way. In a series of articles, she writes, of which this is the first, the writer proposes to demonstrate the profound connection of an astrological phenomenon known as the precession of the equinoxes with the history of mankind and the great cycles of the world. So this first article uh, attempts to explain in, to the layman um, what is the precession of the equinox. And she describes what um, astronomers in her day uh, dis, uh, calculated as the pre number of years of the precession, which is 25,980 years, and how Sri Yukteswar's calculation is 24,000 but then she talks about the rate of the precession is varying, and she gets into the mathematics. It's quite a fascinating article. Okay, hang in there, folks. The Mystery of Mahatma Gandhi by Swami Yogananda. And then he talks about the pre precepts. Now, this was long before independence, okay? He, and Gandhi was very popular, becoming increasingly popular in newsreels and newspapers uh, in America. Gandhi's international love, conquering evil by good, by non-resistance, um, non-cooperation. And he talks about South Africa. Gandhi and social revolution. Gandhi has successfully demonstrated Christian teaching. Okay, now there are um, recipes Yogananda would give, a nut and vegetable patty, a Yogoda curry sauce, marshmallow charlotte, I don't know what the heck that is, then a little article, Creating Your Happiness by Swami Yogananda. Some people say happiness is found in only in mental contentment. Others say that it consists in having lots of money, etc., etc., the ascetic living in a cave may have some mental contentment, but he has to depend on food products grown by a farmer. He has to wear clothing worn by a weaver. No ascetic in the world could find complete happiness only in the mind without the use of at least a few material things. So, you, could, you know, he talks about martyrs, and, and so he, he's, he's carving a highway of the middle path laborers, offsprings of stock marketeers, and basically the importance of meditation. He has a poem by a fellow called Ralph Martin, Raves of, Waves of Redondo. I think that's Redondo Beach in California. He has another article by a fellow called Robindra C. Nog, obviously Indian, A Ray of Hope. Not long ago in a conference of university professors, the question was raised as to the validity of making religious education compulsory. Interesting article. We all know where that ended. Another fellow by, uh, by Tad Musat is about the law of karma. I have no idea what, well, who that was. Um, and then an invocation by Miriam Marluf. 
soul of the storm, robed in the swirling clouds, armed with the lightning, bestriding the winds as they hurtle across the worlds. O voice of the sky, the earth is wrapped in adoration. Hail. And then more meditations each day. And then the rest of it, I think, is when articles spill out into the um, latter part of the of the magazine. Flashes of inner inspiration by Brahmachari Nirod. It just goes on and on. I just love these magazines. Um, Ananda Seattle actually possesses a, a treasure trove of these magazines that were given to us one dark and stormy night as I was closing up the the uh, center in Seattle after a Raja Yoga evening course and some man dubbed in a raincoat in the heavy rains knocked on the locked door and I let him in against my own better instincts. He gave, handed me a heavy cardboard box. He said his mother had died. He didn't say who he was or his mother. And in the box were just tons of, old, of these old magazines. Okay. This is just so fabulous. You can see how excited I get about this. Okay, the rest of it um, are a continuation of, of magazines. You go to announcements. The symbol in the lotus outline on the front cover signifies the single spiritual eye. Uh, brief history of the Ogoda movement, starting with the school in Ranchi. Then here's an advertisement, astrological readings by somebody called Dale Stewart in the astrological department of Yogoda Satsanga in Los Angeles. A general life reading was $15. A year's forecast, $15. Both readings, $25. Data required, birthplace, gender, month, day and year of birth with minute of birth given as accurately as possible. Books by Yogananda, a Yogoda, a 70-page booklet, Scientific Healing Affirmations, The Psychological Chart, The Science of Religion, Songs of the Soul, and Whispers from Eternity. Now, there's a special offer, a set of Swami's six books for $6. Isn't that just amazing? Songs for the Soul, Sheet Music, The Song of Brahma, My Soul is Marching On, The Om Song, and The Temple of Silence. You can get pins and lapel buttons, Yogoda emblems for a dollar, photographs of Swami Yogananda, mounted, two dollars, and the Yogoda Correspondence Course. And then there's a directory of Satsanga centers, India, LA, San Francisco, Oakland, San Diego, Boston, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Denver, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Kansas City, Pittsburgh, St. Louis, Washington, D.C., Mexico, Scotland. And then gifts. It's just, just a fabulous. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I have, obviously. Okay, great children of the light. Stay happy. Pray for peace. Help others. <laughs>